I trained my daughter to have BSP, J.B. Ryan replied back in a letter and said, no, that's absolutely not true. No one can be trained to have this. Your daughter must have been born with it. Jose Silva disagreed. So he continued training the rest of his kids to develop a high degree of intuition. So now over the next 10 years, Jose Silva trained 39 Laredo children on this approach. He documented the results. He made everything hyper-precise and <laughs> proved J.B. Ryan wrong. This was a trainable skill. But then adults started noticing. And adults started coming to him in Laredo, Texas to get trained. Jose Silva decided to call his approach the Silva Mind Control Method. And what happened next was astonishing. A man wrote in a newspaper how, after learning Silva's method, he was able to cure his persistent migraine headaches for good. The migraines just disappeared. The next class, Jose wrote in his autobiography, was absolutely flooded by people. And the Silva Mind Control Method ended up expanding all across the United States. So here's what Jose Silva discovered as the root cause of all our problems. We are powerful beings, but from the time we are born, from the education system we grow up in, from our parents and caretakers who may not know better, we take on so much negative programming. We actually suppress our inherent human abilities. There was a famous study done that showed that all children under the age of four are naturally hyper-creative and genius, but the percentage of kids who show genius ability gets lower and lower and lower as they get older. Something about our modern way of life removes these unique abilities from us. The solution Jose Silva discovered is the act of being able to consciously access altered states of consciousness. We at times need to be placed right in the middle of a storm because it will bring out a deeper intensity in our prayer lives. We need a battle to keep us on fire for the Lord because there's a danger in us becoming comfortable. There's a danger in us becoming complacent if everything is good all the time. Now, don't get me wrong. The only thing constant is Jesus Christ. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And as true as that is, our life will not always be a bed of roses for all of us. Because we need resistance. We need challenges. We need opposition to push us so that we can break through the shell of being comfortable. The Bible is filled with men and women of God who went through trials, trials that produced giant prayers, trials that produced passionate prayers, burning prayers to the Lord. When Hezekiah became deathly ill and the prophet Isaiah came to him with a message from God that he would die. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 2 and 3, then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Now, O Lord, please remember how I have walked before you in faithfulness and with a whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah 